What's up guys, this is Julie HD here, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a sort of overview of uh, the recent Grand Theft Auto 5 screenshots and trailer. So, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Rockstar bought out a new trailer for Grand Theft Auto 5 the other day, and they also bought out a few screenshots. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing is going through them and uh, trying to spot out some things that uh, no one has actually spotted. Um, so just trying to spot some things that could give us a clue to what the game is going to be like and stuff like that. So uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, here it is. He is not staying the night. Oh He's a god. You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. If you want my advice, give the shit up. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? That house right there, with the yellow stairs. You ain't changing. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm cool. Cool what? Slinging dope and throwing up gang signs? Your son, James. He's a good kid. Oh my god! Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Let's get ready to go! Let's get ready to show! That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Yeah, whatever. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. So, you've just seen that trailer, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. So, you saw, you know, the airplanes that definitely looks like a big feature in the new game um, airplanes should be added uh, trains now this is sort of like a thing that I've wanted in the Grand Theft Auto game for ages um, I think they used to have it in like a San Andreas or something like that but uh, I've always wanted a GTA where we can drive trains and stuff online because I just think that it'll be so much fun you know going with your mates um, I don't know about you but I really do enjoy you know doing like normal things with my mates so I don't know maybe making pretending to make deliveries and stuff like that um so that should be pretty cool and uh, another thing that i noticed was the motorways and the trucks now it looks like we can actually gonna get uh, you know proper trucks with the uh, trailers on it i can't actually remember what they're called um and you know the highways as well the highways look really really realistic um which is just one of the reasons why i think gta is going to be so good um, in one of the previous trailers, that looks like there's going to be some sort of mountainous cross-country roads, um, wind turbines, you know, in the middle of nowhere. So there's definitely going to be a lot to interact with, um, stuff like that. So uh, now we're going to move on to the screenshots. Now uh, the screenshots seem to have revealed us, re revealed to us quite a bit. Um, so uh, we're just going to go through them, and uh, yeah, so uh, here's the first one. Okay, so uh, this is the first screenshot. Um, I don't really think it reveals too much in the matter of gameplay to us, but uh, the only thing that I have really noticed is that maybe with the uh, sort of destroyed house behind, um, this looks like a snapshot from the trailer you just saw. Um, with the destroyed house from behind it, there is a possible hint of uh, sort of more destructive gameplay. So uh, if you kind of don't really know what that means, basically sort of like what the Call of Duty is to Battlefield. Um, so in Call of Duty you can't really destroy buildings, but in Battlefield 3 you can. So uh, um, it just shows, you know, probably the main character, and uh, not really else really screams out to me. Um, so if you guys have got any ideas of anything else that could be happening within the screenshot, then let me know in the comments. Moving on. Okay, so this is the second screenshot. Now, I found this one the most interesting. Um, I did a little bit of research on this uh, screenshot, and uh, apparently... 
Uh, the area that you can see now, which is the uh, main city in the game, which is called Los Santos, is actually as big as Liberty City. But the thing is, Los Santos is as big as Liberty City, and that doesn't include the countryside surrounding it. So I've got a feeling that this is really is going to be you know, a giant game to, for us to enjoy, and uh, I'm not too sure if it is you know fully multiplayer um, I really do hope it is because that is such a massive place to go and explore you know I love when the new GTA uh, new GTA games come out you know there's so much to explore it really is you know so much fun the campaigns are great and I'm hoping that this one will live up to its name so uh, you can see you know um, at the top of the hill which is where this is taken it looks like maybe there's some sort of mansion or building or tourist attraction uh, the reason I say tourist attraction is because there is actually that uh, telescope there. So uh, maybe there is actually more behind us. Um, you can see the sea in the bottom left corner. So maybe, you know, this could be some sort of uh, sort of secret island like uh, the Statue of Liberty was, you know, just to get over to. But it's going to be really interesting. Now, you can see the massive extent of Los Santos to explore. Um, on the right, it sort of just, just like goes off into like a countryside. So I'm not too sure you know, how much countryside they've actually added to the game, but it's going to bring a really different aspect to the new GTA V, um, one that I actually think we will all enjoy. So, uh, moving on to the next screenshot. Okay, so this screenshot here is the, I think it's the third one now, and uh, you can see, as a, uh, you know, it proves my point in the last uh, thing that I said about the, ne uh, the last screenshot, it looks like they are bringing in you know, quite a big variety of off-road tracks and country roads. So maybe this is the, you know, towards the right of the last screenshot where it just, you know, just suddenly just goes off into the countryside on the right of the city. But uh, it looks like there's going to be loads of different uh, vehicles being uh, that have been added. So, for example, here, you know, you've got the quad bike and it looks like the police um, have obviously had a bit of a makeover as well. Um, it looks like they're going to be able to follow you. And to be honest with you, it looks quite like a, a high-speed chase. So uh, it looks like the police are going to be able to follow you off-road as well. So, you know, that's going to be pretty interesting. You know, if you go across fields and stuff, maybe they'll follow you. That should be pretty cool. Um, and, you know, from here you can just see the extent um, of the city. There is, like, uh, you know, brand new buses and stuff like and trains. There's going to be so much going on in the city um, in terms of the AI. As you saw in the trailer, you know, you've got all the trains and everyone walking. It really does look pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I've not really got much more to say about this screenshot, really. So, uh, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the fourth and final screenshot that uh, was released. I think, you know, this just shows that how much character interaction there's going to be in the game. Because, um, you know, on the last GTA, there was, you know, loads of shops that we just could not go in. Um, they were just, like, you know, just poorly blanked off and blurred out buildings um, which you know it was okay but it would be nice to go in more shops you know I think there was only like four or five shops and they're all clothes shops and uh, you know it just shows how busy and how interactive the city is going to be you know you can see all the people um, are sort of you know the coast enjoying the beach so maybe there'll actually be people you know in particular clothing as you can see you know there's a woman in a bikini because um, in the old one, they'll just be walking around the beach in normal clothes, not, not really doing anything, just talking to each other in groups. So, you know, maybe it'll be some sort of more realistic, as in a sense that, you know, people might actually be sunbathing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now, guys. And uh, if they release any more screenshots or a new trailer or anything like that, I will try my best to get a video out here for you guys, you know, just to go over it and, you know, see if this reveals anything else. But, uh,. Yeah, I think that's about it for now, guys, and uh, if you like this video, then be sure to subscribe, you know, let me know what you want me to do, um, if you want me to release any more information, there is a little bit more information around on Google, so if you just search that, there is a bit of information, you know, like rumours and stuff, that you can pick up, um, and, you know, you can just make up your mind on what you think it's going to be like, so, uh, yeah, that's all for now, guys, and uh, I'll see you later.